Lesson 1.3, compare and order numbers less than, greater than, equal to. We can compare and order numbers by starting with the digits in the greatest place value position. We have two numbers here. This one starts with a 1, this one starts with a 2, and because 1 is less than 2, 1,234 is less than 2,345. So we know 2,345 is the greater number. If the first digits are the same, we use the second digit, the next place value. This number starts with a 1, but so does this number. It starts with a 1. We look at the next place value. There's a 2 in the hundreds place. This one has a 3 in the hundreds place. 2 is less than 3, so we know that 1,234 is less than 1,345. And if the first two digits are the same, we use the third digit, and so on. This one starts with a 1 in the thousands place, a 2 in the hundreds place, but so does this one. We look at the tens place. This has a 3. This has a 4 in the tens place. 3 is less than 4, so 1,234 is less than 1,245. And this number starts with a 1, 2, 3, and this number starts with a 1, 2, 3. They have the same digits in the same place value, so we go to the ones place. This has a 4 in the ones place. This has a 5 in the ones place. 4 is less than 5, so 1,234 is less than 1,235. A place value chart can help us compare numbers by showing each digit in its correct place value position. When we compare the digits that are lined up with each other. They both have a 5 in the hundred thousands place. They both have a 3 in the ten thousands place. But look, in the one thousands place, there's only a 1 and there's a 7. So we know the second number is the greater number. We can also compare numbers by writing one above the other. Um, but make sure that the digits are aligned by place value. Make sure they're lined up by place value. And we compare the digits that are lined up with each other. We see they both have a 5, they both have a 3, but look, in the 1,000s place, this has a 1 and that has a 7, so the second number is greater. And we can compare more than two numbers by using a place value chart or writing them one above another. When we need to compare three numbers, we can use a number line to help us. And when comparing three numbers to each other, the less than or greater than symbols will point in the same direction. We need to compare these three numbers to each other. We draw a number line and we see they both start with 12,000 and the third one starts with 12,000. Look, this one has 500, this one has 500, and this one has 500. So our number line can start with 12,510 and we go to 12,520 with the little lines in between, 12,530, 12,540. We take 12,518, and we can start here and count 12,510, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We know that middle mark is 15, don't we? 16, 17, 18. So that's 12,518. 12,543 would be three more than the 40, wouldn't it? So it would be over here. And the 12,529, 29 is one less than 30, so it would be right here, one mark in front of the 30. And we can see this is the least number. That's the greatest number. This is the middle number. And we can write from least to greatest using the less than symbols going in the same direction. We have 12,518, a less than symbol, 12,529, less than symbol, going in the same direction, and 12,543. We've written them from least to greatest. If we needed to write them from greatest to least, we would switch this one and this one. We would swap their places, wouldn't we? 
we need to compare these numbers and write a less than, greater than, or equal to sign in the circle. Now look, we have money, but it's the same thing. We have 259,767, and here we have 270,004. That would just be in dollars, wouldn't it? We look at the very first number, they both have a two. So we look at the next number. This has a five in the 10 thousands place. This has a seven in the 10 thousands place. So because five is less than seven, we know that 259,767 is less than $270,004. Now let's look at this one. They both have a four in the 10 thousands place. So we go to the next place value. This has a five in the 1 thousands place. This has a three in the 1 thousands place. Because five is greater than three, we know that 45,873 is greater than 43,660. Now, when you get into fifth grade, you're going to learn that these are called inequalities. When, it's, when we have these numbers written with a less than, greater than, or equal to sign, we call them inequalities. When comparing numbers, we always start with the greatest place value. Since the ones digits have the least value, we can't decide which is greater. So here we have 14,632 and 10,548. They both have a one in the 10 thousands place, but this has a four in the 1 thousands place. So we know this is greater than this number because that has a zero in the 10 thousands place. So this number is greater. Now, if we had started with the ones place, we would have mistakenly believed that this number was the greater number because it has an eight and that has a two. By the time we got here, we would already think that this number was the greater number. So we always start with the greatest place value and slowly work our way back if they have the same digits in the same place values. Write all the digits can, that can replace the blank space. So here we have 25,318. Here we have 20 something thousand. There's a blank space there. Then we have 28,105. We could use a place value chart, number line, or write them one above the other to figure out what number could go here, or numbers. Well, whatever this number is, it's greater than this one. We can see that, because this one's less. And it's less than the third number, see? So we need to find numbers that will fit in here that will make it greater than this one, but less than this one. So we could put a six here, because six is greater than five and less than eight. And we could put a seven here, because seven is greater than five and less than eight. So the possible digits include a six or a seven to make 26,148 or 27,148. Both of these numbers, they'll be greater than the first number and less than the third number. We need to compare these numbers and write less than, greater than, or equal to. We look at this. It starts with a four in the hundred thousands place. So does this one. It's got a one in the ten thousands place. So does this one. It's got a seven in the one thousands place. So does this one. So we're going to move to the hundreds place. This has a five. This has a six. So we know this number is less than that number. 417,504 is less than 417,604. Now look at this number. 26,398. And look at this number. 26,398. It's the same number on both sides. These numbers are equal to each other. Here we have 822,117. Here we have 821,000 
875. They both have an 8 in the 100,000s place. They both have a 2 in the 10,000s place. We move to the 1,000s place and see this has a 2 and that has a 1. So this number is greater than this number. 822,117 is greater than 821,875. Now, for the less than or greater than symbols, the small pointed side is by the smaller number and the large open side is by the larger number. And you can remember their names that this is less than. It looks like this because it kind of looks like a tilted L for less. So you can remember that's the less than symbol. Here we have a table of information. It's telling us that this is pumpkin sales and it's got the years. 2016, 2017, 2018, and this is for the estimated sold. Each pumpkin picture helps us know the estimated amount of pumpkin sold. We look down at the key and we see that each pumpkin picture is equal to 1,000 pumpkins. So in which year did ABC Farms sell about 1,500 pumpkins? Well, if each full pumpkin is equal to 1,000, then that means a half pumpkin is equal to 500. So we would look for a full pumpkin and a half pumpkin, and that would be the year 2017. It used half of a pumpkin to represent half of 1,000. Now it's asking us how many more pumpkins were sold in 2016 and 2017 than 2018. So we need to combine the pumpkins sold in 2016 and 2017. Then we need to find the difference between their sum and the amount sold in 2018. Because it says 2016 and 2017, we know we need to add these together. We've got 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, and 500. We have 1,000 and 1,000 for 2016 and 1,000 plus 500 for 2017. That's 3,500. We need to find the difference between their combined sum, total, 3,500, and the amount of pumpkins sold in 2018, and that was 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. We take the 3,500 and subtract the amount sold in 2018, 2018, that's 3,000, and that's going to equal 500 more were sold in 2016 and 2017 than 2018. So we used addition to add these together, then subtraction to find the difference to solve this problem. So remember when comparing three numbers to each other, the less than or greater than symbols will face the same directions. So using some very easy numbers, if we compare 5, 10, and 7, the 5 is for, from least to greatest, it's the least number. That is less than 7. The 7 goes in the middle and the 10 is the greatest number. So we would have them in this order and see the signs are facing the same direction as each other. If we went from greatest to least, we'd start with the 10, and the 7 would be the middle number, and the 5 would be over here. And to read these, we would read this one as 7 is greater than 5 and less than 10. We start with the middle number when we read these when there's a couple of these signs, okay? This one we would read as 7 is less than 10 and greater than 5. So isn't that something that we start reading it from the middle? And then we compare the 7 to the one on the left and then we compare it to the one on the right? In our next lesson 1.4 we're going to talk about rounding numbers by using place values. Keep trying. I hope you have a really great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!